Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a tutorial video for multiplication facts to 144 on mathdrills.com. You might be wondering why does this worksheet have a tutorial video? Well, a couple reasons. One, if you want to see some strategies later on in this video, I can show you some strategies that make these problems a little bit easier to do. Number two, I wanted to let you know that if you're just coming here to print off some multiplication facts, mathdrills.com has tons of other great resources, including games, online interactive uh, worksheets, and tons more, including uh, coordinate plane worksheets, which are really awesome. So don't just think of this as a uh, multiplication facts website. It's got tons more. And number three, I have a playlist for math drills specific videos that I have on my channel. So make sure to check it out at the end of this video. So we're going to go ahead and get into number one, which is some strategies to use. So obviously the easiest of these problems are the tens. So the tens are kind of like your baseline in terms of easy because we just essentially do the four times one and add a zero. So if you have any tens in here, it makes these problems fairly easy. Okay, next up in easiness are anything five and below. So the fives are pretty easy because all the ones that uh, are multiplication to five are going to end in zero or five. So this is 20. I'm going to see if there are any, any other fives in here. We have 11 times five, that's 55. Uh, looking, we have 30. So notice how all these end in either five or zero. So we have another one here. We have a 45 there. We have 40 there and so on. Okay. So another easy one. So we've talked about tens. We've talked about fives. Let's talk about the elevens. Elevens is pretty easy um, because they're just the same number. Three times one is three, but we have it twice. Okay. So we're going to have 33. We just write the same number two times for numbers less than uh, 10. So we have 99. We have, see, this is an exception. We have 11, but then we have a zero at the end of it. We have 44, 77, okay, and so on. Um, now, for some of these other ones, you're just going to have to memorize, okay? So we're, we're talking for one, two, three. Well, twos are all going to be evens. I don't know how many twos are even on this worksheet. We have a couple. So two times ten is ten. They're always going to be an even number for two, and it's going to end in either two, four, six, eight, or zero. Uh, we have 14 here. Double the number, essentially, is what you're doing with the twos. You're doubling whatever number that is being multiplied by, okay? Um, threes, fours, uh, sixes. Six, seven, and eights are typically the toughest for some students to remember. And then, of course, you have six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is actually surprisingly easy. I'm going to switch, actually, colors for nine. So for nine, there's a way to do it. You can envision or imagine that this is 10 times seven instead. And we know that's 70, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract seven from it, which is that number we multiplied, and we get 63. There's also a way we can do it on your hands, but since you can't see my hands, uh, you're just gonna have to maybe look it up, but there's a great way to do it, or even ask your math teacher. There's a way to multiply on your hands that's a really simple process, okay? So there's another nine. Nine times two, again, uh, 10 times two, would be 20, then we subtract two, and it's 18. See how that works? And then see if there's any other ones. Okay, so 10 times five is 50, subtract five, and that's 45. So that's how that one works. Um, it does not work for 12s though, okay? It's all for numbers below 10. And honestly, the 12s are the toughest. Apart from six, seven, and eight, you're gonna have to just memorize the 12s. And just knowing that 12 times 10 equals, oops, I wrote the answer. 12 times 10 equals 120. Knowing that uh, 9 and 8 are going to be very close to 100, that kind of helps you understand you know, where the other ones lie. But 12s are a little bit tricky, so make sure that you just memorize those. Like, for example, this is 108. Um, again, 45 for this one. We already did that one. Here we go. So 10 times 9 is 90. Subtract 9 is going to be 81. And then, yeah, so the rest of these are just, you, you, you need to memorize them, okay? And if you are in uh, fourth grade especially, I know you have access to calc calculators, et cetera, but if you learn these by fourth grade, a lot of studies show that you're going to be far better off than if you didn't, okay? So really make sure, if you are in fourth grade or under, make sure you memorize some of these, okay? Because these this is very important. If you're in sixth grade or fifth grade or something beyond, it's okay if you don't know them yet, okay? But you really kind of got to put a renewed effort into understanding these, okay? And even though we have access to calculators, it's still an important skill that 
is really brought forth when you get to high school level mathematics. So just like a word of caution for those that don't know these yet, it's very worthwhile to practice. And I'm glad this worksheet's on mathdrills.com. Make sure to check out the link in the description below. Again, I have a playlist in the description below and also you can click on one of these cards at the end here. Looking forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.